If you're anything like me, you've been letting tree huggers and hippies do all the green work for you, while you sip lattes and amass credit card debt. Yay! Now I'm on a mission. Instead of ignoring global warming or panicking about it, I'm educating myself on my own impact. And luckily, I've been letting go of some bad habits and changing my lifestyle. I'm trying to live green and live sustainably. My name is Nina Cardinaire, and I'm always looking for truly effective ways to improve my green life. I gotta get ready for my date tonight. It's not just any date, it's a first date. And the best part, I met the guy at my bus stop. When I noticed his stainless steel water bottle, I just thought, this guy is the one for me. Hello. Thank God I don't have a car, otherwise I wouldn't have met him today at my bus stop. We got to talking, and I discovered we are both concerned about environmental issues, both take public transportation to work, and we were both free for dinner tonight. Sometimes I love not having a car. So, is it possible to court romance and keep your green ideals? Because I want to look good, but I want to stay eco-friendly. I've got to take a quick shower. So I use this handy kitchen timer to keep my showers under five minutes. The average American consumes 100 gallons of water per person per day. It's a lot of water. But by using this timer, you can start reducing without even thinking about it. I also like to use eco-friendly makeup. This means that it's made from all natural ingredients and it's pethalate free. Pethalates are nasty chemicals that have been linked to causing birth defects. And one day, these healthy alternatives will be widely available, but for now, you can find them online or in your health food store. For my hair, I'm gonna let air do the trick for my green date. Besides, hair dryers can really fry your hair and your brain. The typical hair dryer emits large amounts of EMF radiation, and EMF radiation has been labeled the cigarette of the 21st century because of its links to several types of cancer. My date's riding his bike here, and then we'll walk to my favorite restaurant. Hey! Wow, nice hair. Nice muscles. <laughs> Are you vegetarian? No, but I only eat meat once a week. Did you know that the amount of energy required to produce a steak dinner is equivalent to driving in an SUV for 40 miles? I did, actually. Oh. <laughs> Picking a restaurant that's close by keeps us out of the car and will give us a chance to get to know each other. Oh, here. Yeah. Thanks. Is that for you? What a gentleman you are. You can be green and totally polite. This place has some really great vegetarian options. Great, I'm starving. I'm planning on having leftovers, so I brought my own metal containers to avoid plastic, styrofoam, or paper containers. This might seem out of place for first dates, but not for this green romance. Yeah, actually, I don't like to use the boxes that um, restaurants give because, you know, you just throw them away. So right. instead, I just bring my own, and it's this really cool metal container, and I can just put my leftovers right there. That's such a good idea. To find out more about sustainable living, join my website at greenergoose.com. 